people you're welcome back to my channel my name is Inka in today's tutorial we're going to be making this lovely dress and um, for this start today we're going to be using four yards of Ankara fabric and you need your machine thread and we'll be needing some bias for the decoration and also you need your zipper okay and if you like you can put lining because I'm going to be lining mine so you need your lining for the lining you need twice your gown length measurement with extra four inches and when you cut that out you're going to be cutting it into two one will be for the front and the other will be for the back so i'm going to be drafting my on my lining so that it can be very clear i've cut out twice the gown length measurement so one will be for the back and the other will be for the front okay so first off fold your lining into two like this Putting lining on this type of dress is optional. So this is going to be the back. It's folded into two. You can see this place is open. Next thing you're going to do is just to place the second one on top of it. This one is going to be the front. So this will be the front. You place it on top of it. Leaving your zip allowance here because it's going to have zipper. This is the zip allowance. And then this is the center front and it's unfold. Okay. So from the guideline, I'm going to measure down the armhole length. I'm using 9. Then I'll measure the waist length. My client's waist length is 16. I'll mark. Then I'll mark the hip line. Then you mark the length of the gown. Our gown length is 60 inches. So I'm going to put exactly 60 inches here. Okay, so this is the guideline which is going to serve as your shoulder. This is the armhole length which is going to be your chest line. And this is the waist length and this is the hip line. And of course we have the length of our gown here. Okay, for your measurement we start from this folded edge. All your circumference measurements will start from this folded edge. Okay, so here I'm going to put a shoulder divided by 2. My client's shoulder is 16 divided by 2. That will be 8 inches. I'm going to mark the 8 inches. And I'll also mark the same 8 inches here. And I'm going to connect it together. Then here from the from the folded edge again, I'm going to mark three inches, and I'll come to the shoulder tip here. I'll mark one, and I'll connect these two points together, and I'll add my seam allowance of half inch to the line. Okay. The next thing is just for you to finish the armhole by placing your French cuff here this way, and you get your armhole cuff. This will be the back armhole. Okay. Then for the front armhole, you are going to measure from the shoulder slope here, measure down to the chest line, and you locate the mid armhole. And at that middle point, you are going to come in by half inch, and you are going to connect it to the shoulder tip this way, and you finish it up. To the chest line like this with the cuff so when we are cutting this now we we'll first cut on the back arm hole okay so this is how it is the next thing now is to input our circumference measurement so on the chest line here you're going to put the bust circumference divided by four my client's bust is 40 divided by four that will be 10 you mark the 10 because this is going to be a free dress you put your ease of half inch then you put your same allowance. I'm using one and a half for the same allowance. Then I'm, I'll come to the waistline. I'm going to put the waist circumference divided by four. My client's waist circumference is 33 divided by four. That will be 8.25. I'll put the 8.25. There will be no dirt. So put ease of half inch. And then you put your same allowance. I'm using one and a half as my same allowance. Then I'll come to the hip line. I'll put the hip circumference divided by four. Our hip is 44 divided by 4. That will be 11. Put the 11. Then you put your ease of half inch. And you put your same allowance of one and a half. Okay. So you have the option of really it straight down now. But if you want it into an hairline, you extend it. But based on the style, I'm going to be removing one inch from whatever I have here on the hip line. And I'll put it at the hemline. So here, all together... I have 13 and quarter. I'm going to minus 
one from there. So I'm going to use 12 and quarter at the hemline. So I'll connect the points together this way. Pull the neck width. I'm going to be using four for the neck width. Don't forget, we're starting from this folded edge. All the measurement is starting from here. Then you mark the neck depth for the back. I'm going to be using two and a half. And I'll connect it together. Next is to put the front neckline. So I'm going to mark, I'll first off mark four and a half inches, four and a half inches. And then from that four and a half inches, I'm going to mark two inches. Okay, like this. So first off, I'll connect to the first four and a half inches like this. Then next, I'm going to put the French off this way, touching this uh, two inches below this point and touching this one. Just use your French off to get this sweet heart kind of shape here. Can you see? So what that means is from this folded edge here, you have about one and one and quarter inward to form this shape okay all right so the next thing now is just to cut this out so when cutting out you first cut on the back neckline then the back hand will cut the shape exactly the same but before we do that let's contour the zip, zip the, the zip allowance at the back okay so i want my zip allowance to be one and a half inches so from the folded edge here i'm going to measure one and a half inches towards here then i'll come to the waistline and i'm going to measure I'm going to measure three quarter inches, three quarter inches from the folded edge. Okay, I measure three quarter inches. Then I'll come to the hip line. I'll also measure one and a half. Can you see? Then I'll connect these points together. So from the hip line, just really straight down to the hem line. Okay, so we are done with the back. Don't forget to notch your zip allowance. Can you see? So you can remove the back now. This is the front. So what I'll do is just to cut the shape here for the neckline. Can you see? Then for the armhole, cut the same. So I've cut the front armhole just to use the lining to cut out the Ankara fabric. You'll be adding the allowance for the length. So can you see my same allowance here? I added two inches on the Ankara part. part. And yeah. Can you see? We were able to get the same pattern for the back. Okay, so let's draft the sleeve. So first of all, from here, I'll measure down the cap height, which I'm going to be using five. Then I'll measure the length that I want. Here now, the total I have is just 23, which I'm going to make use of. Okay, so from on the cap height line, you're going to import the handhold length, the same as you use when cutting out the dress. You put it and then you add your same allowance. You know, we added ease of half inch, so put the ease and then your seam allowance, okay? Then get your inverted S shape. Can you see? Like this. Then it's just like a booba hand, so from here you're rolling it straight to the hemline, okay? So whatever you have here, just put it on the hemline. And it's just going to be like that. Now you cut 
cut it out. So the next thing now you have to do is just to create the, the position of your bias. I think I like this. This already <laughs> I have a crisp on here, so I'm just going to make I'm going to make the distance to be two two inches. So mark two two inches. Also, that one like this is going to be two two inches. So you are going to repeat the same thing to the second sleeve. So we are done with the sleeve. So you bring the front. So this is 27 inches and I think I'll use it all. So can you see? They are two, two inches in tava. The last step before we start sewing. So the last step before we start sewing is for us to fuse interfacing at the back at the back like this, okay? So that it can help us to stabilize it when we are sewing the bias so that it will prevent it from wrinkling. Okay, so around the neck area also, I fuse it with interfacing and also that center. Okay, so I'll turn it to the good side now. And I'm just going to rule where I want the... I'll rule where I want it to be. It's better you just fold it like this and high on so that you can, you can get the center very well. Can you see? Like this. So the bias will just follow like this all the way down and all the way down. So when you are done with the bias, the next thing is to turn with the lining. So you know I left half inch around the neckline, so I'll place the lining on top of it and I'm going to stitch.
okay so i know you know very close to the seam but you don't cut your seam like this then you know shall around the neckline because it's cut so not shake like this Um, we are done with the neckline you saw the down just like i said if you're not lining this if you're not putting lining you know i'm lining my if you're not, not lining it you can tear this thing off you know you can tear it off it's easy to tear off but i don't think i want to tear this one off you see you have to tear it off like that okay this paper is going to come off Go back to the underarm. Go back to the underarm. Match the lining and the fabric together. Then you stitch the side together with half inch. When you are stitching, when you reach the position where you want to put your pocket, you insert your pocket. So your pocket will be right side to right side with this one. So it's your pocket the notched part and then you stitch make sure you align it well and ensure it's facing the right ensure it's facing the right direction I've turned with lining and I've ironed so the next thing I'm going to do now is just to place them on top of each other like this. It's going to have slits. It's going to have slits. So you mark. This is about to measure where you want the zipper to stop. Let's see, stopping it again. Okay. Then you go to the hemline. You measure the length. You want for the slit. Let's see, I'm doing 22. So the zip, the zip allowance, I'm left with one inch zip allowance. So measure the line. So I'll take to the sewing machine. I'll join from here to here. Then after that, I'll fix the zipper. Okay, so the next thing now, so it's having slits here, right? It's having slits at the back. So you place front and back together, right side to right side, join together at the shoulder. When you are done, you fix the sleeve and close the side. So this is the sleeve it is fully lined so place them together on top of each other so i've attached the sleeve so the next thing is just to close the side and your dress will be ready <laughs> 